Yeah. Sorry, mate. Positive week, you think? Yeah, listen, uh, barring uh, uh, a moment of lapse of concentration on Wednesday night, the, the split has been, it's been good in terms of the performances and the results. It's always a difficult place to come to, St Miriam. Whenever I've come here, I've found that they're resolute defensively. Stephen's always got them organised and uh, they've had a good home form. So we felt that we, we'd have to have lots of bouts of possession in the game and be patient. We tried something new with Fashion and Rabi playing really high and wide and our fullbacks a little bit flatter and that's how the goal come. Uh, Ridvan and Fashion actually share, share a car into train every day, which is quite a strange combination but obviously bringing that friendship onto the pitch was I'm delighted it was a fantastic pass for Ridvan I think he's shown real promise in the last few weeks returning to injury and I thought he, he did well today I mentioned for uh, John Souter again who, who's knocked the three games out this week and he's been absolutely outstanding and and obviously he's a player that we've not had all season so I'm delighted it was I was pleased for Antonio to come off the bench as well and score at the end set plays are something we want to pride ourselves on, and we, we've scored a number of those now. <coughs> yeah, really pleased. As I say, we played him a little bit wider today. We felt we could maybe come off the centre backs and cause some problems in front, and then our two wide players could maybe run from out to in. And and uh, both both Rabi and Fashion in the first half had big opportunities where their last shot let them down, and, and it was nice. It was a, it was a good part part of the game for us to score so early at the start of the second half. Your goalkeeper game's pretty good. Uh, Cholak, you came on again, scored. Does he got a big future at Rangers? Yeah, he needs to stay fit. Uh, the reality is, since I came in November, he was injured. He's had a couple of other injuries since then. He's not been able to get himself moving. Um, and in that position, you want someone to be sharp and, and alert. And I think at his best, he is that. I remember seeing him in the, the game away at Hibs when I felt it was the only time since I've been here he's been fully fit. And I thought it was fantastic in that game. Um, at other times we've had to look for alternatives and Fashion's probably had to play more as a striker where there's more focus on him in terms of his, his goals and finishing. He's more of a wide player Fashion but he's been hugely effective in my time here as well. So for me going into the summer there will be more forwards coming in. We're obviously losing Ryan and, and Alfredo that have been important there. We've not had Kamar Roof or Tom Lawrence. so. That's some loss to us um, over the season at different times. So it's important we recruit two or three players in those positions. And Tony, is he, we want him here. We want him to fire out and we want him to have a good pre-season and come back because last year going into the season, I thought his form was fantastic looking outside as a fan. I've not quite seen that player since I've been here for different reasons. If you touched on Sugar, is it maybe if he's got the wrong time for James Sugar? Well, he'll probably get a couple of other games if he's involved with the national team squad, if he if he's picked. But um, his wife's due this summer, so it could be a nice summer for him. Things seem to be coming together for John. I'm delighted for him as a man. He'll come back pre-season. We've toyed a little bit of a back three at times, thinking how we're going to uh, rotate at different times in the season. And he's got these qualities to step in, to cover around people and... and He's just been blighted by the long-term injuries he's had. John Suter is a top football player. Clean sheet today for McCrory. Have you seen enough of him for him to be the main man next season? Well, I've certainly seen enough in five, five out of the six games he's played for Rangers, four in this period and two previously. He's kept five clean sheets, so he's done himself the world of good. Um, delighted with him. I've always thought he was a goalie destined to do really good things. He will have more competition next year, for sure. There'll be a new face in the building. And then it's up for them to fire out. But I'm pleased with Robbie. Really pleased for, for him and his, his family as well. He's been patient. Do the players get a break now? <coughs> Is this going to be the busiest summer of your football career? Probably the last five or six weeks probably been the busiest I've ever been. Um, not been shocked by anything with the job and the demands and stuff like that. I was used to it. I was here before. Um, but the added responsibility and just the added um, time off the pitch, managing other areas and, and going to do the recruitment's been busy. So I'm glad the end of the season's here, if I'm <coughs> honest. It gives me just that to focus on. But we're really in a good place with that. We're just waiting for one or two things to be signed off and then we'll start seeing a new Rangers team come together. Albeit with a team that has got over 90 points this year, which we haven't, someone else will tell me, but I don't think we've done that too often in the last 15, 20 years. When we have, we generally won the league. I think it's one of the highest points total. So, again, everything's broken at Rangers uh, at the moment. So I'm looking forward to, to mending it because that's the perception. I'm not sure that's quite true.
Um, I think we're the team that won the league this year deserved to win it in Celtic. They were the outstanding team, but our record was a strong one. And we're, we're I believe, adding to an already good team. Michael, there's a lot of stuff in a lot of shed There's a lot of players that have played that they might not know it, but they won't have a future team. Yeah, I think, listen, a few of them have had that in the, in the air and in the background. Look, when you come second, it's last in, in Scotland, certainly in Glasgow. So those players we just spoke about, you know, we need to have a, we need to go away and we need to have a look at ourselves, come back, set our standards, to have a good pre-season and then see where it goes one game at a time. And as I say, of late, the, uh, the form from the team has been very, very strong. Our points total in the league since November. I think we've only dropped eight points, if I'm correct. And so we've we've won a lot of football matches. Ultimately, the start of the season has not helped us. And at times, we've not helped ourselves in big games by making huge mistakes, notably in the final and semi-finals when we've had chances to change the outcome of the season. It's been in our hands. So next year, we have to seize the moment in those moments and not have regrets. Thank you. Thank you.